Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT MMS 2022, problem number 26. The problem says that for n equals to 1, 2, 3, and so on, let the joint moment generating function of x and y n be this thing, this e to the power t1 square by 2 times 1 minus 2 t2 into whole to the power minus n by 2. But t1 is belongs to the set of real numbers and t2 is less than half. If tn is equals to root n into x divided by root of yn for n greater than equals 1, then which one of the following statements is true? So there are four statements and we have to find which one of them is true. So see, this is the this this entire thing, this is the joint MGF of x and yn. So there is a sequence of random variables y1, y2, y3, and so on. And the joint MGF of x and yn is this. This is the joint MGF, right? So let us first find the MGF of x, only x, which we can easily do by plugging t2 as 0. If we put 0 in place of t2, we get the MGF of only x, right? So this is the MGF of x. This mxyn of t1, comma 0 is actually e to the power t1 square by 2, right? Which is the MGF of x, right? mx of t1. Again, finding out the MGF of t2, you can similarly do it by putting 0 in term in, in place of t1 and just finding out the this is the mgf of yn so this is the mgf of yn and this is the mgf of x right now you can easily see this form you can easily recognize this is actually nothing but the form of standard normal right so x follows standard normal and yn actually follows chi square n chi square with n degrees of freedom you can easily see that by recognizing the mgf right so that means x follows standard normal and yn follows chi square n that means y1 follows chi square 1 y2 follows chi square 2 and so on now again you can see that this joint mgf is actually nothing but the product of the individual mgfs right this, this joint mgf of x and yn is actually nothing but the product of the mgf of x times the mgf of yn right this thing you, you can see since this can be written as this and this, therefore, x and yn are independent. This is also very important. Now, tn is actually root n into x divided by root over of yn, which is nothing but x by root, root over of yn by n. Now, this is obviously, you can see that the above is a standard normal and the below, the denominator is root over of chi square n divided by its degrees of freedom. That means this entire distribution, this entire tn, this entire tn actually, actually follows students t distribution with n degrees of freedom right it follows the t distribution with n degrees of freedom now we know that expectation of tn exists if n is greater than one and variance of tn exists if n is greater than two we know that for a t distribution with n degrees of freedom the expectation exists only if n is greater than one and variance exists only if n is greater than two right that means the first option is obviously false the minimum value of n for which variance of tn is finite is two no it has to be 3. So option A is wrong. Now let us try the other ones. So here it is said that expectation of T 10 cube is actually 10. Right? So expectation of T 10 cube is actually not, nothing but expectation of this thing. This just, just writing it in the original form. This is root 10 whole cube into x cube divided by root over of y 10 whole cube. Right? Now obviously this because x and this thing are independent, so we can split split it out, right? So this entire thing now, this this is what this is root ten whole cube into expectation of x cube into expectation of y ten to the power minus three by two. Now, expectation of y cube is zero. We know that because x follows standard normal, so the odd central moments are zero. So this entire thing becomes zero. So this option, second option, is also false. It is also false, right? Because it is it turns out to be zero. Now the third option, variance of x plus y4. It is said that variance of x plus y4 is 7. Now variance of x plus y4 is actually variance of x plus variance of y4 plus twice covariance of x and y4. Obviously this part is 0 because they are independent. So this is nothing but 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. Now again, but here it is said that it is 7. Therefore, the option C is also false, right? It's also false. Now at this moment, we can obviously see that the last option is true because the other options are false. but Let's see why it is true. So it is said the limit ending towards infinity probability mod of tn greater than 3 is this integral, right? Let us see why is that true. So 
limit n towards infinity probability modulus of tn greater than 3 is nothing but probability mod z greater than 3 why because as n tends towards infinity in that in case of a t, t distribution with n degrees of freedom with n tends towards infinity this entire distribution feels like the behaves like a standard normal distribution so here the n tending towards infinity is actually very important that's why we can take this approximation that this thing is actually nothing but probability mod z greater than 3 where z follows standard normal obviously so this can be written as 1 minus probability mod z less than equals 3 which is nothing but 1 minus integral minus 3 to plus 3 1 by root 2 pi into e to the minus t square by 2 dt now this is an even function right this entire thing is an even function and we are integrating from minus 3 to plus 3 so this entire thing can be written as twice of integral 0 to 3 this entire thing right which is nothing but this thing this just simplifies into this this is correct this all this this is what the option d says this limit ending to infinity probability mod of tn greater than 3 is actually this integral which is true right therefore option d is the correct answer so there you have it the solution to this problem so do like share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems see you till next time